Hi, it's time for another math. Easy. So, we're discuss. Well, I'm just gonna do another example on the fundamental theorem of calculus, and basically show you an example where the theorem doesn't apply. Okay, so, if we look at this example here, this integral of negative one to three of one over x squared dx here, and if you were just to apply the fundamental theorem, you can see the video links uh, below on introduction and proof of the fundamental theorem. Basically, you could just take the antiderivative of, of if if f of x in this case is equal to one over x squared the antiderivative is just going to be, or capital F is just going to equal two. This one's one over x negative, because if, if you take using power rule, the derivative of this is just going to equal two. Well, this, the negatives cancel, so it'd be plus one over x squared. You can see video link on the power rule for, uh, in the uh, info below. Basically, so this this would be the antiderivative, and then you could just use applying the theorem. You'll have something like this from one, negative one to three, and this equals two negative one over three minus, then you plug in the one there, so minus negative one over negative one, and this equals two, negative one over three plus this, or negative yeah, one here. And then just, uh, and then this one here, just times it by a common denominator, three over three, and this one, so negative one over three minus three over three just equal two, negative four over three. So this is the answer using the fundamental theorem, just, just using basic integration techniques. But the problem in this case here, because negative four over three is less than zero, but you can see that this, this is wrong because uh, if f of x in this case equals one over x squared, this is greater than equal to zero, because if you, whatever you pu put in here, if you put a negative, it's gonna be positive. So this is always gonna be positive. Or, uh, yeah, it's always gonna be a positive number here. So then basically from the other property of integrals here, if from integral from a to b of f of x, a dx, it's greater than zero, because this is the area under the curve, this is greater than zero if f of x is greater than or equal to zero here. So then this it, this violates, this, uh, this one right here violates this property here. And now the reason why it's wrong, it's because this function is not continuous on this interval here. Or basically, yeah, from negative one to three, f of x, which equals one over x squared. Yeah, it's not continuous here. I'll, I'll show that. Uh, I'll explain why it further. But basically, the theorem, or I will call it FTC, fundamental theorem of calculus, applies only for continuous uh, functions. Yeah, let's just write that down here. So basically, now if you were to graph this this function from let's say uh, negative one to three, it, this inter intersects the x equals zero. Point. So let's just graph it out. So yeah, if you graph it out uh, like this one here, and we know that the one over x squared here, as you go to negative infinity here, you're just gonna have, it's just gonna be, if you put a negative infinity squared, this goes to zero here, so it's gonna be something like this. And also, even if you put a plus, so if you pl plus or minus, they both divided by infinity goes to zero, so it looks something like this. And then when you plug in or, g or take the limit as x approaches zero, doesn't matter which side, of one over x squared here, this approaches infinity here because you're gonna have a one divided by zero or an infinity here. So they're both gonna be up like this. So basically it's not defined at zero here. Yeah, so I just write that down here. So this is not defined at zero and this just means there's a discontinuity at yeah, at x equals to zero here. So it's just not continuous there. And also going back to this, this applies only if f is continuous on the interval basically a to b now it doesn't have to be everywhere on the closed interval so this is the square bracket in, in, info link on more on this but basically closed interval means at a and b it's defined as well so if this was a uh, negative one here's this value exists here so that this isn't also infinity or whatnot otherwise you're just gonna have a messed up answer and, and then if this was a and then at three so we'll go three here. This is this would be b. So this is defined. So you, if you plug in a or b, you'll get an actual number instead of infinity or some messed up number. Well, uh, yeah, that's all for today. If you learned about this one here, so just uh, just remember when you're applying the fundamental theorem, make sure that you that, that the function is continuous on the interval from wherever this one is to that. In this case, negative one to three, and in this case there isn't. So then you can't apply it. You're just gonna get messed up answers. And also make sure you check your answer because this one's a negative but then this is a positive function, so the area under it can't be negative there. So that's a good way to check if you're ever doing an, an exam and whatnot. Well, that's all for you learn. Remember, you can download these notes and Dropbox link below, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.